Kayla and I'm a London Street style fashion photographer. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my five top tips on how to up your photography game plus a little bonus tip at the end. So I know a few of you want to learn a new skill because we're in quarantine so what better way to start now? A few of you had requested this video over on my Instagram when I asked my Insta stories what type of videos would you like to see me do next and photography tips was number one. So if you don't follow me on Instagram make sure you do, it's at Michaela Efford underscore photography and I pose photography shots daily on that account well I try to but I do post quite frequently on that account and it'll give you some fashion tips, tree style inspirational shots and some portraits and I also have my second account which is at Michaela Efford and it's just more of a personal account of me showing you what I'm wearing and what I'm doing during quarantine but remember photography account is more active because of I post there quite a lot so yeah, let's get into it. So my first tip is angles. Try and experiment with angles when taking a shot, whether it be shooting from low, shooting from high, or shooting through something. Now angles are very important. I'm a short girl, I'm five foot four and a half, because I like to add the and a half, because I am five foot four and a half. So I want to make sure I look taller in pictures. So what I do is I shoot from lower down, and that way I look taller. And no, I'm not catfish anybody. I'm just making sure my loads look a little bit longer than usual. And if you are tall and you want to look a bit smaller, shoot from high above. If you're taking selfies, shoot from higher and a lot smaller because of the camera is more focused on your head than the body. So that's also a trick for looking slimmer in photos as well. If you shoot from higher because your body looks a bit tinier because your head looks a little bit bigger. I'm not saying that you have a big head. I'm just telling you the different types of perspective you can get. Now, what a cool thing you do as well with angles is why don't you try shooting through something? Shoot for an object. I'm gonna show you some shoots I've done recently because of isolation is getting to me a little bit with the creativity. And I thought, why don't I just show you some behind the scenes? So I'm gonna show you a video I done in my garden. It's gonna be me shooting from a book. for books I thought I'd be giving it a cool perspective it's the first time I picked up a book during isolation and yeah so I haven't read one yet but you see how you create cool effects by shooting through something I've also done a one where I shoot through a glass so the glass is in front of me and I decided to go a bit more creative and I added fishes in there so check that one out too Number two is fill in the frame. Now do you need everything in that frame? Is everything in that frame important to you? Or is it distracting? If it is distracting, why don't you crop in a little bit? I love crop shots because it means I'm getting rid of unnecessary things in the background. I'm gonna show you in this video how cropping in makes a big difference because of this room behind me looks quite neat right now. When I crop out, you can see right here, that's a lot of mess and I could clean it up, but I'd rather just crop it out for now. So that is why filling the frame is super important. You'll see the difference. Tip number three is lighting. Now I know lighting scares a lot of people off. I personally get scared of it when I'm doing studio work, mainly because I'm not used to doing as much studio work as my street style stuff, but it doesn't stop me, I still go for it. Lighting is essential. Lighting makes the image more, you're more attracted to the image. It draws you in because the lighting is correct. Now if you haven't got any lighting, just simply shoot next to a window. The window will give you some good lights and it should fill your face more. If you're blessed to have a garden, why don't you shoot in the garden and experiment with the lights out there? Experiment with backlit shots, experiment with direct shots because you can get a cool contrast if you want to go for the moody look. But for this video, I'm actually using a cheap Amazon light. I've literally just got one light behind the camera and that way that one light is just filling my face up properly and creating a nice video for you. The lights I'm using for this video is way cheaper than professional lights that I would use for my studio sheets. This one is literally from Amazon and don't think it costs that much. I'll try and link down this, the same one in my bio. I did get it a few years ago and if not, I'll link down a similar one at the same similar price because of 
this is so cheap compared to other lights and it really works if not I also have the wand the wand is great for videos and it really lights up the subject properly so I will link everything down in my bio and honestly I really recommend lighting tip number four and it's actually my favorite type of tip is using props in your photos now I take a lot of self portraits during isolation because there's no one else to shoot in my house who doesn't want to be in the camera anything can be a prop this is my insects mini 90 I'll also link that down and this is great I can put it over my face and look away or look at you and that way I'm not as awkward I love using props because it means my hands have something to do and they're not just randomly like this half the time like they normally are and also props tell a story why are you using that prop why am I using the camera I'm a photographer I'm trying to tell you that you should go onto my YouTube channel and click that like button because of I'm a photographer so check me out tip number five is to shoot in raw and not in JPEG. And if you're thinking what's raw, you're probably not shooting raw because of you need to change it manually on your camera settings. So raw is a file format along with a JPEG, but it gives you more creativity and freedom when it comes to editing. It's a larger file and you may only have to do most of the work like setting the white balance. So JPEG will is a compressed file and what it will do is when you take a photo, it already has some of the white balance in and some of the saturation in when it comes to editing. And you don't want that. You want to have your own creative freedom when it comes to shooting in raw. So I would recommend shooting it. It gives you so much, it's so much better. Just, just trust me, it's so much better in this. I will show you how to change your settings from JPEG to raw in this video. Now I'll be using my Canon 5D Mark III and I'm just gonna put it here. I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Quick tutorial, bam. What you're going to do is press the menu button and from there, there'll be image quality press set and then right now I'm using small raw but you can change it by using this nozzle here you can make it to large raw you can also shoot at JPEG at the same time but we don't want to do JPEG so we'll leave it on raw and I have a bonus tip for you and it's tip number six be confident I know a few of us when taking photos are not confident, I can vouch for that, I'm not confident, but you need to be confident to put yourself out there, make yourself vulnerable. I know some of you don't want to share your work with your friends or put it online, but honestly, if you don't stop putting it out there, you'll, you'll never do it. And I thought you need to push yourself because that's what photography is all about, taking risks, just take some chances and be confident. Right guys, I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned something new or if not, I hope it's giving you the skills to then shoot for yourself. And if you do like this video, can you like, comment and subscribe because it will really mean a lot to me. And also comment what your favourite tip was or what tips you want me to do next because I can happily make a part two to this video. So yeah, bye! So a few of you messaged me when I did my questionnaire on my Insta stories being like, questionnaire what am I talking about questionnaire and the images correctly or or, you know, or, or or tip number five the most important one too is shoot in raw and not in JPEG 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 do too when I'm doing studio work because you want to make sure you've got the white the white the right lighting <laughs>